how's it going ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the Samsung channel today we're building the Gundam D end and you know this is basically the my actual uh, I I actually really like the design of this in the build virus try you know just get away with the actual story if we just looking mechanics I think this one is the coolest you know <laughs> I, as I just said get away with the story get away with that uh, BS of uh, Bill burnings or dry burnings, uh, vipers. I prefer this one. Gundam the end. I actually think the design looks very cool and the mechanics look very cool as well. And you know, let's just start looking at it. Um, looking at the side, so we got some action, actions and mode change as well. And we got, and I wish I had the other tools, but currently it's out of stock. So I'll just buy it later. And you know, at the side we have a story as well. Uh, I'll extend the number. Uh, I wish the number would be better. Other than I'll extend, it should be like, it should be like a a long name because you know this one is such a cool mobile. So anyway, that's not the point. We are looking at Gumpa. Why are we talking about mechanics? And you know, as we open it, we got one, two, three, four, four packages. At the down. Below we got some, uh, you know, some information about the Gunpla. We got the customized plan is from the Gundam Death Scythe Hell, and from the Devil Gundam from the G Fighters, and you know we got a lot of more. We got you know large hands, uh, absorber or some or you know another another small Gundam that pop out and then you know drill a hole into the Black Wing Gundam if you know what I'm saying. And then we got some instruction on how to open it. It seems like it's from part swapping to uh, recreate the modes. Uh, I'm okay. And you know, one point technique as usual. Oh, such a long time I haven't seen this one point technique. And I personally like the suit the most is the large hands. Although it's gonna be sticker hell, but it's fine. I accept it. All right, now let's opening up the packages. All right, now let's opening up the runner. So we got the A runner really signature large wings we got some hand parts the large hand parts we got some shoulders we got some uh you know our i believe this is the backpack joint yeah well you know it looks kind of shiny too we got g2 runner is the expansion for the hand so it's pretty soft actually um we got a C runner. I believe this is for the in the joints. We as you can see, we some see some waist part here. We can see the pistols. Yep, the pistols and the you know legs joint, uh, and the hand joint, shoulder joint. We got an F one runner. It's basically all the purple parts on the mobile suit. I believe this is for the torso and the sh and the shoulders. Yep, and this is a D one runner. This is the Gundam phase of the. Uh, Hand and we got some legs armored. We got the, we got a kind of mask here. We got some uh, legs joint here. We got the hands as well. This is the B1 runner. This is the outside armor for the torso, for you know some waist part for legs, uh, arms, uh, feet. A F2 runner for the head. And that's the B2 runner. I believe this is for the legs as well. A D2 runner uh, is for the Gundam face as well, as I just mentioned, Gundam faces here and legs. And then we have an E runner, it's the funnels and hands option, and you know, the funnels on the large hands. This is a G1 runner, this is the uh, the inner frame that I mean the inner gundam that pop out from the torso. I actually don't understand how did how how did it fit the whole thing into the torso. Somebody please explain me down in the comments. I actually have no idea how did the torso of the gundam DN actually fit the whole thing in there. And two body caps and a large thick sheet. Ah, uh, it's gonna look ugly. <laughs> I mean, the stickers is gonna look ugly. Anyway, so you know, I'm gonna see you at the review.
Hello, welcome back to the review of the Gundam DN. So this is the finishing of it. I just been around to have it like for you to have a look at it. Um, so this mobile suit, uh, as I just said from the unboxing, uh, is from the design of the Gundam Death Scythe Hell and the Devil Gundam. So this is why it got a lot of elements of uh, both combined. Uh, you will know what I mean later. And plus, I have some. Uh, you know some warnings when you were building this gun plot because uh, I found it myself. Uh, a lot of armor pieces here is really fragile. If you press down slightly harder, it will break. Uh, I think I broke one of the uh, legs here. Uh, I mean the the uh, the lower leg armor here. But you know I, I will talk to you later about those points and you need to be careful of. But you know overall finish, I really like it. Like the the design is very cool. Uh, right now I lift off the wings because if I don't lift the wings. Uh, I can't show the uh, articulation. And you know, uh, let's start. Let's start. Let's start with the movements. As usual, let's start with the head. Uh, the head this time I have a little complaint. The side here uh, with the pink part here is actually stickers. It's not an individual part, which is I am a little bit disappointed. And you know, a lot of parts, a lot of uh, parts on the mobile suit are actually by stickers. They're not individual parts. Like the the shoulder part and the waist part, I can. I can deal with it, but the torso and the head, I don't understand why not just give us an individual part. They snap it in and then we penalize and then we do some penalizing later. Um, Bandai Logic. Hashtag Bandai Logic. Um, and so let's just move it. So uh, move up, move down, and it can go front, back, front, back. So up, down, uh, 360, no problem at all. But you know, the only part that I don't like about this is just the stickers part. Overall, the head looks really cool though. It, it gives a feeling of the devil as well. And this time the stickers for the eyes is different. It's actually just a uh, green sticker. Uh, just like, the, but uh, they don't have the black outline like the other kids. But you know, I like the, uh, the head design is actually looking uh, like a helmet. And it looks, and it kind of gives you a feeling of devil. Let's talk about the torso. So the torso have three parts with the stickers. There's a part here and here and here. Three parts with the stickers. So I did a bit panel lining on the top. Otherwise, you're not going to see anything. Uh, it's going to be bland and plain. And uh, the torso, uh, as for the instruction manual said, you can rip it off apart and then you can uh, put in the uh, the hidden mold suit at the chest and pop out. Uh, I will show you later how to do it, but you know this is one is uh it looks really heavy for the chest uh, for the chest and you know it's supposed to be like that because it's the theme of devil it have to be strong right now let's look at the arm so the arm uh here is the part with the stickers uh, the stickers is pretty good this part is not going to be uh really really bad like the like the head or the torso stickers actually this this one like acceptable so uh sorry it couldn't go 360 because during the wings at the back is actually uh, preventing you to do that uh the side not really doing too much uh you know because there's a there's an extra piece here that uh, been blocking in the way so you're not really gonna move up but you know the whole hand can move up about this much probably 90 exactly 90 and uh, it bent up to a pretty good angle, bang up all the way to the to the sh uh, to the shoulder. Uh, actually, pretty good. And you know, this time uh, it can twist as well, but it's not at the upper arm. This time they twist it at the uh, joint of the elbow here. But you know, it's good. And the hand, as usual, is going to be uh, it's going to be could be spinning around as usual. But uh, keep that in mind. If you don't do any panel lining on the hand, it's actually very hard to see the details. So I recommend you. Uh, to do some uh, panel lining on the hand, otherwise you couldn't see anything. Now let's look at the lower body movement. So uh, this time we can, if we take off the pistols, we can actually the whole mobile suit can actually be uh, spinning around. Uh, 360, pretty good though. Uh, you can, you know, slightly moving front to front and back and moving to the side as well, just slightly, not too much. And the side skirt could flip up with a very poor angle, and then you know you can move around slightly bit, just slightly. And each front skirt is an individual piece, so you can move uh, whenever you want. And as for uh, XG usual, the back skirt is totally unmovable. And you know, if we just that just takes tested. Uh, so the front kick could go to all the way to the 90. Uh, side kick, 
nice idea as well and be careful if you might accidentally rip off the uh, side skirt so maybe not doing too much not, maybe don't side kick way too high uh, probably it's not 90 probably uh, 75 then it's done uh, back kick don't even think about it so the whole uh, the whole leg movement uh, can go all the way to 180 uh, really good though and you know it can also spinning around it's 360 for the legs uh, very good and the ankle armor here is movable and you uh, keep that in mind uh, you're gonna need to recolor the purple parts on the legs as well so you're gonna do it <laughs> and uh, you know um, the legs you can move uh, slightly front to back and side as well and the lower leg armor can be moved as well oh and keep that in mind the lower leg armor when you were uh, when you were uh, like you know when you're building it uh, be sure you like the instruction book uh, the instruction book will tell you uh, to plug on the feet uh, the gray part here first then plug in the armor uh, that's wrong uh, if you do that you will end up you will end up breaking the other you will end up breaking the parts like me did to the uh, other side of the leg so remember if you are building it make sure the gray part you have to attach the lower leg armor on the gray armor first then you snap it in together because if you do it yeah, first time when I actually follow the instruction book it end up my whole part were broken and I have to glue it over and over again just to stabilize it and yep just don't just don't follow what the instruction book said so for the hand options we got quite a few uh, for the fist uh, other than the fist hand that I currently put on the wall so we got a pair of open hand and we got a pair of uh, weapon uh, not I mean the pistol holding hand I, as you can see I already demonstrated so I put on one of the pistol and the pistol as I just said on the review it can put at the side of the skirt armor as well so you know uh, you can mess around with these hands right now let's talk about the most uh, most greatest the greatest thing on this kit is the backpack so the backpack is all four they got four individual joints that you can move around uh, very good and let's for, let's start with the large hand the large hands could go uh, side by side for uh, 180 and it can move up and down for 90 degrees very good and you know they got a they got a double joint on the hands as well so you can bend these large hands very good and you know the individual thumb is movable as well and then let's turn it to the front and unfortunately the parts on here is thicker so eventually it's going to be loose and the the wings can move for about uh, for 90 degrees up and 90 degrees down as well uh, very good and you know if you if you know the instruction book it does tell you that the, the wings can be clipped together just give me a second So the wings is clip so the wings could clip together now it looks like the Gundam Death Side Hell, right? As I just said, the design base is from this, so that's why it looks pretty much the same. And I actually really like the design like this. Uh thanks for uh, contributing the idea of the Gundam Death Side Hell. Uh it shows that Bandai actually did remember they did they did remember to put in some Gundam Wings series uh, elements in it and I'm very happy about that. So uh, I would like to introduce the hand individually so I rip off one of the hand on. So as you can see it takes the uh, Devil Gundam's design because you know the Devil uh, the Devil Gundam really signature on the Gundam face that shouldn't be appearing on on the mobile suit. Uh, it got like it got Gundam faces everywhere. It got Gundam faces on the DG Zell's uh, uh, minions and they got the gunner face on the waist, they got the gunner face on this face, or you got the gunner face, uh, yeah, like you think of anything that it, it could be a gunner face. So it, it actually really good on taking the design of the devil gunner. And but this time, uh, something a little bit disappointed is that way too much stick has been used on the face of the uh, the hands, kind of ruin the kind of ruin the uh, proposal. And uh, actually, if you switch, want to switch to the open mouth mode, is really annoying. Uh, Plus, this thing is really hard to take it off. You might have to borrow a couple tools. Yep, pop it off now. So, now, they did give you an other piece that you can put it on like this. Uh, it's, the, it's for the open hand mode. So, when the, when, so according to the mechanics, it's when the, when the hand eats away the other mobile suits. So, I'm not sure why they call it eats, but you know that just... 
uh, how the how the thing works. And you know, you can install the claws like this. It's now it looks terrifying, isn't it? It looks like it actually looks like the the Gundam head from the uh, Devil Gundam that summoned, and you know, it looks terrifying actually. And you know, if you if we if we want to put it onto the display, you have to rip off this little part on the on the uh, joint, the joint at the side, and then you need to put on a brand new joint. You need a new joint, and the soft material that I just said when I was unboxing it, uh, you need to put it in, and then you know you can put it onto the joint at the Gundam itself. Just give me a second; it's really hard to plug it in. So that's basically how it looks like after you finish the whole procedure is uh may i remind you it's pc material for the connect joint so please don't mess around with it too much because eventually it will lose same with the mouth as well uh it's pc material so it will eventually lose as well for the pistol it's pc material as well so don't always try to plug it in or plug it out if you're gonna put it into shelf uh you either put it on the waist or you put it on the hand and then you'll leave it there because you know once you plug it in it's really hard to get it out but the material itself is soft and if you you know if you plug in plug out for a couple of times it will start to lose and you know you're gonna be stop breaking now i'm going to show you how to put this thing into the torso so you know first you need to activate the full burst mode so all you have to do you know if you rip off the shoulder parts with two with tools because there's no way you can rip it off with hands you know just touch it's gonna be really challenging to take off the parts Oh gosh, there's two spot. There's two spot in here. There's two spot in the uh, uh, in the shoulder joint. I'm not sure why it's not focusing again. Please forgive me. And you know, there's two spot in here. All you have to do, you connect to the lowest joint here. So it was. So it will show a slide up position. So you know, this is not an MG. So don't expect it's gonna be a uh, perfect. You know, slide up position, and in there is unfortunately stickers, uh, no color separation. And next, what we have to do is we have to rip off the torso, and the torso, uh, you have to borrow tools again. You rip it off again. So as you can see, both of them had two joints in there. So you choose the so the, for this one, you just choose the upper joint, so it can position as slide down, and then. For the other one, there's two joints here. You plug into the bottom one. You plug into the bottom one at here, and then you put it on like this. All you have to do is put the ball joint in like this, and uh, it's pretty huge. This thing, it's pretty huge. It look and it will look like that. You know, if it, it's kind of cool though, because uh, the the center thing here is actually look like the unicorn Gundam. Is a for me, it looks like a shrank down version of the unicorn Gundam. But you know, it's gonna be taking you a lot of recoloring. All of the color separation up here is by stickers. Uh, it's basically the whole runner was plain white, and you have to do a lot of recoloring. So uh, if you buy this. Yeah, you're gonna prepare. You're gonna need to prepare a lot of paints because you know some stickers, as I just said, it's not stable, and it will probably piss you off. So now let's put it to the conclusion that uh, it's very hard for me to fit the whole screen around because you know this thing is so gigantic after all the things have been open. So if you want to put it into the shelf, I recommend if you don't have too much space, otherwise don't display everything open, <laughs> and because it's not gonna fit in. And seriously, somebody tell me how did this thing actually fit into the torso of this thing? I, of the, how how does this unicorn look like thing actually fit to the torso of the Gundam DN? I actually don't understand this. Like somebody please explain it to me. I don't. I actually don't understand. And you know after the after you know after everything opened, it actually looked like Gundam Death Side Hell now because you know the back wings is similar design, similar function, and the overall feeling is just look very devil it looks like demon and the center here looks like you know the japanese oni and uh and it strikes out and then you know and like when gundams mark to life yep rip and you know i really like the i really like the design but i wish it would 
use less stickers and more color separation by parts. But you know, anyway, this is a high grade. You know, what do you expect? This is not real grade. This is not master grade. Uh, I hope they. I hope they uh, will someday will make a real grade or master grade of this. If because this the design just so cool, but the stickers ruined this perfect design and you know if I got if we if we got a chance to see a better version of this I would like to buy it and you know for, and for me this is definitely is very worth to buy and you know messing around with it and you know this is the end of the review hope you guys like this video be sure to drop a like down on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more gunplay reviews and you know I will definitely see you next time goodbye